good afternoon. My name is Amanda and welcome to The Den Creative. For today's pick a card reading, we are going to be figuring out what you can expect for the week ahead. And these are timeless weekly readings, so whenever it is you stumble upon this reading, it'll be the perfect information you need right now in this moment. And even if you're watching this, say, on a Saturday, this message will run you from Saturday to Saturday or Tuesday to Tuesday, whenever it is you're watching this. So if you're new to pick a card readings, I just ask that you close your eyes, take a couple of deep cleansing breaths to try to center your energy and focus in on piles number one, two, or three. And if more than one pile calls out to you, there may be messages in each pile for you. I did see someone recently said they assign a pile to their personal life, one to their love life, and one to their career. So if that's something you would like to do, feel free to do so. But once you've selected your pile or pile, you can go ahead and check the description box below for the timestamps, and I also try to pin them as the top comment. And remember, these are general readings, so only take the information that resonates for you and leave the rest behind. So without delaying this any further, I'm going to give you a moment to meditate on the cards, and I will see you over at your reading. All right, so for those of you who chose group number one, we are starting out with the card of the tree. And it says here, let them go. And it's great because we also have the number 18. One plus eight is nine. So you are at the end of a cycle in a relationship, in a job, in a situation. You are in at that end of, and I feel like for some of you, this is the end of a difficulty because look around her. It's a very desolate looking area. And this tree is still on fire, but it looks like it's about to be finished. So with this let them go message, I'm feeling like you're ready to move on from whatever this thing that's ending in your life is. And this isn't some big thing that's going to happen this week that's an ending that you just weren't expecting. This is something that you've seen the writing on the wall for quite some time days, weeks, months, maybe even years for some of you. And it's going to feel like a really nice release because on the other end of that ending, you have a beautiful new beginning. And these have been pretty big themes for my readings lately. Endings of something old and beginnings of something new. So let's go ahead and get some additional guidance for your week ahead. All right, what does group number one need to know for the week ahead? And these cards are really sticky, so I'm actually gonna go in and actually grab one that's calling my name. Okay, so we have the Child of the Cosmos card, and it says the intelligence of the universe lies within you. And what I'm really being called to talk about for this card is the fact that whatever's going on in your life, your intuition is guiding you where you need to be and to the next logical place. And for some of you, your intuition's really gonna be off the hook this week. You're just gonna not even be able to understand or believe how tapped in you are. But I think for many of you, this is the result of a lot of spiritual work or putting a lot of hard work in into your spiritual gifts or your belief systems and just maybe checking in with your mind and your inner guidance. Like, what is it that I believe? And some of you, some of the things you might be letting go of this week are your limiting beliefs. Especially for some of you, beliefs surrounding money and you not being able to make the kind of money you want or bring the kind of abundance into your life that you want. You're realizing that's a lie. You're realizing you have the power to create something so much bigger than what you already have going on. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some more information for your week ahead, group number one. poking out at me here. Okay, so we have turned back. And this, it's funny because, you know, it's like, we're moving ahead, we're moving ahead, we're moving ahead. But then we have the turn back card. And I don't think this, you know, just using my own intuition, I don't think this means that you need to stop what you're doing and not end this thing. This thing is ending all on its own, whether you want it to or not. But again, this is something that you've already been aware of. But this turn back card is this person scratching their head. They look so confused. So this is maybe some of that energy of feeling like, oh no, is this the right thing? What if this? What if that? But remember, checking in with that intuition is going to be like, no, no, no. I don't need to do that. I'm going to turn around and keep going forward again. Because look, this person's looking back this way and who knows what's, what's going on the rest of this maze down here. 
But if this person just goes like this, like this, like this, there's the exit or whatever it is. To me, this feels like that ending that you're going through into your brand new beautiful beginning. And the beautiful new beginning, there's no maze out here. To me, it looks like an open field or a nice meadow. So it will be something much easier to navigate. You know, again, your intuition's really gonna help you move through this. And it's gonna be different for each of you. And Spirit's not asking me to really give any examples because I think you're just gonna know intuitively, you know, you're already using that intuition with this reading. You're gonna use that intuition to know what this message means exactly for your own journey. Okay. What does group number one need to know for the week ahead? Oh, and that one just flew right out. Okay, commitment. So for some of you, this is you, um, the ending within a commitment, a committed relationship, a committed career, um, going to school. There's some sort of commitment you've got going on in your life that this, this ending is having to do with. And that doesn't mean, so don't panic, it doesn't mean the end of a relationship, the end of a job or anything like that. This just could be a cycle within that relationship, within that job. For some of you though, this is going to be the end of that relationship, the end of that job. But just a couple of you, um, and you already know it's coming. It's not a huge surprise. So if you feel happy and everything, there's not gonna be any rugs ripped out. So I hope that that doesn't scare you. This is something you're already well aware of whether you're at that spectrum where you know you need to leave that relationship or you're at the end of the spectrum where you know you need to um, be finished with a cycle within a relationship or a job or a situation, you know, whatever it is that's gonna pertain to your life. Okay, let's get an additional message for group number one for the week ahead. Okay, oh my goodness, you guys, I love this. I love when I can shuffle on camera so you guys can see the magic at play let them go the end of that cycle with the nine then with this full moon in capricorn the end of a tough cycle approaches this tough cycle is something that's really been going on and you're well aware of it you're already well aware of it we've established that and this just completely corroborates what i was saying so you're not going to be turning back and trying to work things out and make some um i just see like this old lady uh, with a size eight foot trying to squeeze her foot into a size five, you know, like in the in the shoe store and the salesperson's really trying with the shoehorn and everything. It's just not working. That's not going to be you guys. And if you do try to make this thing work, it's just, it's going to be very clear from the start. It's just not going to work. But it's because there's something way better out here for you without any confusion. Something that's going to be intuitively guided and divinely guided I'm hearing and it's very close it's going to happen for you this week and into the coming week or two is really what I'm hearing but you're gearing up for this ending and it doesn't have to look catastrophic it can just look I mean it can look as simple as you going through a closet and getting rid of a sweater that you just know isn't for you anymore that's clearing some energy from your wardrobe or maybe when you're out shopping and you see a new sweater that just really calls your attention, you can buy that and then not feel like you're bringing home additional clutter. I mean, this ending in your life can be as simple as getting rid of a sweater and maybe bringing a new sweater in. So you're gonna have to figure out where and how this fits into your life. But let's go ahead and get you a self-care message for the week ahead, group one. And that one flew right down too. We have movement. So yes, you're moving in the right direction. You're moving through this cycle, through this tough energy. And I just, for some reason, saw the planet Mars, which I guess makes sense with movement. Um, Mars is that athlete, so maybe moving your body. Maybe some of you, this cycle you're wanting to end in your life is just an unhealthy diet or lifestyle or you know, not working out or not exercising, not taking care of your body. And this is you getting really real and realizing you need to get more movement in your life. And some of you, this could look like you moving location, moving job, like we were talking about earlier. It's going to resonate different for each of you, as I always say, but you're going to know intuitively how this fits into your life. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a love message for group number one, singles and couples the message for the love life of group one singles and couples okay this one we have retreat okay so 
it's time to disconnect from the world is what this says and that makes sense if you're at the end of a cycle you're not out there you know doing things making things happen you're kind of going into hermit mode a little bit to be able to really work through some emotions and just feelings and thoughts about what's going on because after that hermit you're gonna want to get out there and take some action and really do movement but um as far as retreat goes, you can do some movement and um, exercise and all of that at home or, you know, on your own is really what I'm seeing. Just retreating your energy from whatever situation is um, occurring. For many of you, this is in your love life. So those of you who are really being called to retreat from a relationship for good and never go back, that is the ending we're talking about here. It is that relationship for you. But if you're like, if that does not resonate, this is you retreating from belief systems or habits within a relationship. Or if you're single, this is you just kind of retreating to really re-examine what your belief systems are about committed relationships. And again, your intuition is really going to be a key. So basically for my couples, you may feel like you just want to be alone. You don't really want to be commiserating so much with your significant other this week. It just may be very hermit energy, like I was saying. And then again for my singles, again, hermit energy. But I also see you just retreating to really think about who it is you're wanting to call in in the future. So I really hope that resonated for you guys, group number one. You will have to let me know below what you thought. And as always, you guys, thanks again so, so much for all your likes, comments, shares, subscribes, and all the things. And I really, truly do hope to see you back at the Done Creative. All right, bye. All right, group number two, let's go ahead and find out what you can expect for the week ahead. And we are starting with this card. It says here, Feather, think before you judge. And we have the number 26 here. Two plus six is eight. You guys are ready to be manifesting something. And I don't think it's something you're doing all on your own. We have four people here. Um, they're playing that game. I remember it from when I was a kid. And it used to scare a lot of people called light as a feather, stiff as a board. And these three girls are, you know, basically putting their hands very gently below her. And with their own thoughts, their own intentions, their own magic, they are lifting her up effortlessly. So you're gonna have people wanting to help you this week. And it says here, think before you judge. So what I really wanna say is, the help coming in isn't gonna look like something that you're expecting. It's gonna be very unexpected, but don't just push it away because it's unexpected. Think about it, really think about it. And this could be even um, people coming to you this week really think about what they're saying, what they're doing, just the fact that they're even there at all. Really think about what's going on before you try to judge the situation or kind of make up your mind about something because there's more than meets the eyes what I just heard. So let's go ahead and get some additional guidance for your week ahead group two. Well, that one didn't want to go back in. Well, there's two of them, so I want the bottom one. The void. Okay, so it says here, stop. Embrace winter, great cosmic womb. So there's someone wanting to take care of you. So maybe that's this, uh, this help that's coming in is just you even maybe taking care of yourself. But of course, you know, when you kind of go into that hermit mode and we have some hermit vibes going on in group one as well. But when we go into hermit mode, you know, we may have to ask others for help as far as kind of picking up the slack of the things we won't be able to do because we are going within or going into the void or just, it says here, embrace winter too. And by the time I get this posted, we are going to be almost in the winter time. But of course, this is a timeless reading. So you can even have a period of winter during the summer you know, metaphorically, you can have an, a, a winter type period where you just want to hibernate and go within, but just know that there will be people. And for some of you, these, these uh, other people you're asking for help or that are stepping in to help are your spirit guides. You may have three dominant spirit guides that are coming in to literally lift you up and help you out, but you may not even realize what's going on if you don't really, um, Allow yourself that time to step away and feel nurtured by these guides. You know, that great cosmic womb, that just reminds me of just being in the womb, in utero, when you're a baby. 
And I knew the second I said in utero that Kurt Cobain would step forward. He He's just like always at the periphery of my um, whatever it is I'm doing, really. He is one of my guides. He's been working with me for a while, and he does work with a lot of people who are in creative fields, such as musicians, writers, painters, artists of all kinds. And if you want some help with some sort of writer's block or block in your creativity, Kurt Cobain is your guy. He will come in and he will help you. And it's always in a non-conventional way. So think first before you judge. Don't just dismiss it because it's unconventional. I love how this all plays together. Thank you so much, Kurt. Yes, but he wants you to basically, I'm being really drawn to the six in this, in this number here. That motherly energy, that unconditional love. You're mothering yourself and really loving yourself this week. And, you know, taking it easy is what I also heard. Okay, let me turn these right away. All right, so what can group two, whoa, what can group two expect for the week ahead? What else can group two expect for this week? Okay, this one wants to come out. Thank God. Okay, and this is beautiful because I'm getting a couple different messages and I'm, I'm excited to get into this. There are some changes on the horizon for you guys. There is a number 55 here on this card. And to me, it looks like this guy sent up a smoke signal here and he's on this deserted island all by himself and now he sees a ship on the horizon like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. He's so excited. He's gonna be rescued. He's gonna be saved. And I don't think this is like some person in your life swooping in to save the day. I think this is more of a spiritual uh, conclusion or spiritual uh, thing you're going through. Maybe you've been going through a dark night of the soul and you're gonna get a sign. You're gonna get a sign, you know, that smoke signal, a sign that things are on the improvement or things are turning, you know, taking a turn for the better for you is really what I'm seeing. And your ship may be coming in. So whatever that means for you, maybe you're getting a long held up check, um, an inheritance, or you're hearing news about money that you thought maybe you had lost in some way or a court case something like that but you're really there's something that's going on this week that you're just like oh my gosh I'm thanking god like down on your knees like oh my gosh thank you so much like something and i think for many of you this is a long anticipated whatever for somebody this could be news about your health that you're you you learn you're you're free of something or if you had a inkling that maybe there was a health scare going on, you get news that no, false alarm, you're good to go. So for some of you, that might be a major sigh of relief this week. Um, let's get some more guidance for the week ahead. Whoa, that was loud. Okay. What can group two expect for the week ahead? Courage. Yeah. And I think it's going to take courage for you to you know, be able to make these changes in your life with that 55 and even to step away from the crowd with the void card here up above it here, it's going to take courage to stop doing something you've been doing is what I'm hearing. So for some of you, this could look like you taking a pretty long break from social media or taking a break even in your love relationship. Maybe things just haven't been going well in the relationship and the two of you are maybe thinking, you know, let's just take a break. Even if you're not, you know, quote unquote, breaking up, you're each just kind of retreating to your own little private island, so to speak, to get the answers you're seeking about the relationship when you can then come together again and talk it out or figure it out. And we did get the retreat card as the, the love message in group one. So I don't know if there may be some additional messages for, for you over there, but maybe you want to check that out. But something coming up this week, you're going to need to really tap into that Leo energy, that courage, and even um, the third house, wherever, whatever's going on in your third house in your astrology chart is going to be really important for you this week. Okay, what else can you to expect for the week ahead? Meditate and contemplate. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's exactly what we were talking about with this void energy, you know, kind of going into your hermit mode like group one. And this guy is all alone. And meditating and contemplating is best done when you're alone. So 
you may just need to kind of untangle your energy from your children or your parents or your friends or your other family members, your significant other, just to really get clear on what it is you want to be doing with your life and the direction your life is going. You're going to get some really beautiful answers about your life through meditation and just kind of daydreaming about what's going on, contemplating anything, any changes, especially any changes you want to make. Um, really contemplating things before you actually jump in and take action. Okay, so what's a self-care message for our group number two today? Well, that one just fell right down. <laughs> Sing. And the fact that she's got her hairbrush in her hand, it reminds me of... Um, I mean, there's a couple of movies where I've seen this, but the one that's really standing out is on the movie Crossroads with Britney Spears. Um, she's in her bedroom singing, I think it's a Madonna song if I'm not mistaken, just kind of jumping around her bedroom singing to her hairbrush like it's a microphone. And again, in that movie, in that scene, why I was being drawn to that, she's all by herself, just you know, singing and enjoying the moment. Um, and in that movie, <laughs> it's so funny how that movie just, boom, here it is. Now I'm getting chills, tingles on my head, oh wow. But in that movie, the three main characters, the three girls, are taking a road trip across the country to each find out something different from themselves. They're each meditating and contemplating something unique to their situation, unique to their life. And as they have the courage to take that road trip, oh, chills, I love this. As they have the courage to take that road trip, they, oh, wow, this is just chill, chill, chill. I love this. Um, they, they get the answers they've been seeking. So that meditation is gonna pay off. And of course, it's think before you judge. Those girls in that movie, like the last people they ever wanted to go on any kind of road trip was, was the other two girls in the situation because, you know, they had had a really close friendship as young girls, but they had had a big falling out and they kind of all three went their separate ways come high school. But then they had to come back together. There were three girls and then they found some guy to drive them that, you know, think be first before you judge. You know, they were kind of judging him in a way because they all thought he had killed someone. Like that was the word on the street. Come to find out it was a complete rumor and the guy did not hurt anybody. But you know, there were four people, four main people, three girls and you know, the guy that drove them across the country. I, wow, that movie really overtook this, um, this, and now Kurt's laughing at me. He's like, Britney Spears. Oh, wow. You guys have the coolest, <laughs> the coolest pile so far. I love this. But, you know, even just if you're alone, the, the main message of this was just to sing, just to enjoy being in your own company. That's really what I'm hearing. And even singing, just humming, singing, that's going to help you really, um, I just heard get in the zone. I don't know if you do chanting or humming or singing bowls. Something like that would really help calm your energy to help you get in a meditative state as well to contemplate what's going on. So let's go ahead and get that love reading for you guys for the week ahead. What can group two expect for the week ahead in the love life? Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Yeah. So some of you are freeing yourself from a relationship. That's That was a bit of a theme in group one as well. But if it's not you freeing yourself from that relationship, you're freeing yourself from toxic or negative cycles within that relationship, that 55, maybe that's what those changes are coming this week are changes, good changes, courageous changes in your relationship. That's for my couples. For my singles, this is just you taking back control of your life, taking back any power exes took away from you, taking back any power friends or family members took away from you to really bring it all back to center, bring it back home, and really know that you are in control of your life. You're no, you don't even have to wait for some ship to come rescue you, so to speak, because this guy, yeah, he probably wants to return back to society, but it looks like he's doing okay. He's got a little bit of a beard growing, his clothes are a little um, dingy, but he could start a fire. He's probably got food in his belly. He was doing things all right, so, you know, and he probably had a lot of time on this island to really contemplate and meditate about what's going on in his life and what his dreams and desires for the future are. And it probably takes a lot of courage to be all on your own, but 
Whatever this means for you personally, you are taking back control, taking back your power of your own life. It's really beautiful. So I hope that's um, gonna resonate for some of you. I know it was a little um, pop culture-y with uh, Kurt Cobain and Britney Spears and the movie Crossroads all popping in, but you just never know what you're gonna get when you start dealing cards. It's just, it's all up to spirit as to what comes out. So I hope this resonated for you today. But you guys will have to let me know below what you thought. And as always, you guys, thanks again so, so much for all your likes, comments, shares, subscribes, and all the things. And I really, truly do hope to see you back at the Done Creative. All right, bye. All right, group number three, let's go ahead and find out what you can expect for the week ahead. And you guys, we're going to go ahead and start with this gray card. Endings are inevitable. And wow, what a theme we've had through all three piles this week. So there's something going on in the collective energies and all around the world this week where everyone's really going through a collective ending. But even though you have an ending here written in this script, up in the numbers, 3 plus 7 is 10, 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 is the number of a new beginning. There is a new beginning. And it's funny because in group 2, there was a ship, um, a guy was deserted, and it, it was the Thank God card. But in this card there's also a ship coming in and I got the analogy like your ship's about to come in things are about to finally right themselves you're gonna be rescued but it's not like oh someone's in swooping in to save the day this is you rescuing yourself it's funny how I don't know if I can find it I did put it back in the deck oh here it is um whoops <laughs> So we've got, that's the Thank God card from group two. It's very similar, you know, he's on the beach, she's on the dock waiting for a ship to come in. There's a ship in the clouds and then there's a ship out here. But when I get this um, Endings Are Inevitable card here, I always am, you know, because that ship is in the clouds, you may be seeing some, um, you know, UFO activity or super um, supernatural activity up in the sky unexplainable activity in the sky and I just heard watch the sky this week you may get some answers even if the skies are gray I just heard that um, Annie song the Sun will come out tomorrow um, when you're stuck with a day that's gray and lonely I just stick out my chin and grin and say the Sun will come out tomorrow that's what I'm hearing Wow the pop culture references have been deep in these readings today I love that though I think that's so fun so let's go ahead and get some additional guidance for you, group three. What can group three expect for the week ahead? And these ones don't like to, these bent, so I'm gonna take this one. Oh wow, this is the exact card we got in group two. I've decided to put all the cards back that we already used just in case these messages were collective and look at that, they are. Yes, stop, embrace winter, great cosmic womb. So groups two and three are like this totally intertwined. That card I showed you from the other deck was from group two, and we actually have this card in group two as well. So if we get other additional cards from group two, I'm just going to scream, like, happy, happy scream, like, fangirl type of scream, because I love when spirit is like, these are the messages that the collective needs to know, because we really are all connected. And, you know, we like to think, well, I'm on my own little bubble doing my own little thing, but what we do affects the greater universe if that makes sense but this is a card all about going back within that hermit mode and you know all three groups hermit mode is like the mode of operation this week for most of you guys and even if you really are busy you really should take times to really check in with your with yourself and really um make sure you're doing your own self-care and make sure you're not you know i see the two of pentacles card getting too far out of balance one way to where you'll drop one of the coins and it'll go flying away. Um, so taking care of yourself in that great cosmic womb, it just reminds me of going back in utero. And that's when Kurt Cobain, that's another pop culture uh, icon, that popped in in group two. He's back because, you know, the void. Uh, and I'm also being reminded of one of his songs, Endless Nameless that was at the end of the Nevermind album that was like a secret song, 22 minutes and something after uh, Something in the Way played. And In Utero, you know, that's why I was reminded of Kurt was his album In Utero, which Endless Nameless is on the album before that, but that's, you're not, that's not why you're here. But yeah, he loves to be able to step in and help with this, but he, he I just see you drawing and painting 
uh, Kurt Cobain was actually also a visual artist, and his daughter is still, to this day, a visual artist. So this might be something you're doing this week when you step away from the crowd a little bit and those endings that are going on in your life. Maybe you're channeling some of your feelings into art this week. That was not a message I got with group two. This is very unique to you guys. So let's go ahead and find out what else. What else are you bringing? Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I'm going to keep that, but I didn't quite ask the question. So we're going to get another card as well. But you have the look forward card. Yes, with those with those endings that are coming up, you're definitely looking forward. And, you know, we have a four plus one is five. Big changes. You're looking forward. You're And when someone's looking forward to something, it's an expression we say, they're looking forward to it. It means they're excited about it. But I see this two ways, looking forward like you're excited and looking forward as you're not going to sit and dwell on the past anymore. You're looking to the future for something really beautiful and exciting. And you may already have your hooks into that exciting thing. It's just maybe you haven't worked out all the kinks on how you're going to actually have that play out. But let's actually ask what's going on for you this week, group three, to see if there's an additional message. Oh, that one flipped almost upside down. Re Rebel. Yeah. You guys are being rebels this week in something it is that you're doing. You're you're rebelling against the norm or the system or the man. And I had this in my yes or no reading that I've done recently. And to me, this guy's holding like a stop sign. But to me, it doesn't look like any stop sign I've ever seen. And I'm really viewing this as caution. And wow, it's cool how I'm seeing that as caution. And then on the, you know, this looking forward card, I always say as the caveat, you're looking forward, but make sure you're not going to fall off the edge. You know, make sure you're watching, looking down at your feet every once in a while to make sure you're on the right path, that you're not looking so far ahead that you don't even know how to get there. That's also what I'm seeing. But the fact that this one's on a bike, this one's on feet, it's like you're traveling somewhere. Some of you may be traveling this week to visit someone, to visit family. Um, and then some some others of you may be going on a solo kind of retreat because you know with this void card, this reminds me of retreat, that, that word we saw also in group one, how I love how connected these readings are, it's beautiful. But it says here stop, but then we also have the caution. So it's almost like stop, just kind of make sure of your footing that it's balanced and you know, you're not gonna fall off the edge and then move forward with caution. Don't just, you know, barrel through, you know, blinders on and not worrying. I, I see you guys though, you're very cautious with the steps you're taking and making sure you're moving forward with what it is that needs to move forward. Okay, so what else can group three expect for the week ahead? Let's shuffle one more. Okay, that one wanted to come out. Okay, so we have the grieving card. So, when this card's popped up lately, I don't see this as you grieving for um, something that's going to happen this week because you got the look forward card. It's like, don't look back so much because, you know, that's not the direction you're going. But many of you may be grieving the loss of a loved one. I see a recent grandmother that maybe has passed away, um, the breakup of a relationship. You can still grieve someone who's still alive. So this you know, take this how it resonates for your situation. But you guys may be grieving something. This whole endings are inevitable. It feels like this is um, recent past to, um, you know, beginning of 2020. Maybe not too far past beginning of 2020. This feels very recent stuff you're going through that's put you in a bit of a grieving process that makes you just want to step away. But I'm hearing... Don't step away so far that you never come back to people because people love you. People enjoy having you around. But you may be seeing some symbolism of butterflies this week. Um, and depending on where you are in the world, at the time of my filming this, and of course it is a timeless reading, timeless weekly reading, but at the time of my filming this, we are kind of heading into those winter months over in the Western Hemisphere. So there won't probably be a lot of butterflies out. But this can be a butterfly print on a, a dress or a skirt. This can be a butterfly, um, you know, tattoo that you see on someone's arm. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some additional messages for your week ahead, group three. What can group three expect for the week ahead? Okay, I want this one. Sorry about my phone. I always try to silence it before we get going, and then I 
lot of times forget. So yes, oh yay, 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 I love this. Don't let your past hold you back. Remember what I said, don't look back, you're not going that way. You're looking forward. But I think grief is what's keeping some of you looking backward, looking backward. And not to say to, oh, get over it, don't grieve whatever you've lost, get over it. That's absolutely not what I'm saying. Just don't let it hold you back. Absolutely, Six of Cups energy. Go ahead and have that nostalgia. Remember the good times. Maybe even remember the bad times. That might help you look forward a little better than to ruminate and grieve on what's lost. But don't let it hold you back. That's the main theme. Because in both of these cards, they are forward moving. This is the one that's looking back and that's where it's saying that that's ending. You looking back all the time and being kind of stuck in the past or that south node energy, that's ending for you to where you can go, you know, I'm thinking, you know, moving forward and what's, you know, that, that axis of north node, south node, what's ahead of south node in that axis is the north node and that's the direction we're meant to go in the incarnation we're in because that's what our soul's here to learn is that north node. So wherever your nor north and south node are, or your Rahu and your K2 are in your chart, that's gonna be a good indication of where, especially your south node, where have you been dwelling so long lately? And then your north node, which will be directly opposite in the chart, that's the direction you're going. That will help you immensely if you know your birth chart. And also where um, the south node and north node and Rahu K2 are transiting in your chart is also going to give you additional guidance this week as to, you know, where you're holding yourself back and then where you're needing to move forward. Okay, so let's go ahead and get you guys a self-care message. And I'm going to just do this to make it look a little bit prettier. <laughs> I think we can still see what's going on. Okay. For group, I didn't clear it. Okay, for group three. What can they expect for their self-care for the week ahead? Or what self-care practice can they benefit from for the week ahead? What this one. We have be still. Absolutely. Yeah. Even in the forward movement of these two cards, it doesn't feel like it's chaotic and quick. Even this rebel, I mean, there's training wheels here. This rebel is still learning. And you can't go too fast as far as I've ever seen or known when you've got training wheels on, you're not, you're not feeling confident enough to go quickly. So being still, really meditating, wow, you guys in group two are very interconnected. I love this. But you guys are just going to be still and just, you know, allow that cosmic womb to cradle you and allow yourself to really look at what's going, gone on with the grief and then start to plan for the future. So I don't see a lot of actions being taken this week or a lot of forward movement, but absolutely that with that ending coming or the ending that you've already experienced or are experiencing in the midst of, that new beginning is on your horizon. You know, as you turn not this corner, but maybe the next corner, I just heard one month from now, you're gonna have your new beginning solidly in place and you're taking action if not before then. Okay, so we also have the number four here. Just knowing you're supported. You're building a solid foundation with a four. You've got four solid pillars that you're building as a new foundation for this new beginning you have coming in. And four is also a message of support from loved ones, from people around you, possibly from a crossed over loved one that someone you're still grieving or just your spirit guide, your spirit team. I really see them stepping in this week to help you calm your mind and to just relax. I just see you like laying in bed, watching a movie and just allowing yourself to just take a breath. Because I think many of you have been really busy and going through that dark night of the soul energy as well with just a lot of what's what these endings are coming into your life or that have occurred in your life recently. Okay, so what's our message, our love message for group three? Couples and singles. What can group three, couples and singles, expect for the week ahead in love life? Here it is. Well, oh, there it is. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, you and you definitely need to go watch Pile 2 because they also got the Free Yourself card. <laughs> it, yeah, I mean, these two cards were for you guys, and then that other card from this deck really mirrored this one. Um, yeah, there's definitely other messages for you in group two. Um, it says here for um, 
I'm actually probably just, I, I'm, I said it's just, it's the exact same thing. It's the exact same thing. So I will probably just play the audio of what I said exactly in group two for you guys because it's the exact same thing. That's what Kurt just told me. He's like, your throat is a little bit raw. Just, just go ahead and put that over and they'll understand. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that information over so you won't see my hands waving around. I'll just kinda play it over a clip of this and then we'll wrap up here in a moment. So some of you are freeing yourself from a relationship. That's That was a bit of a theme in group one as well. But if it's not you freeing yourself from that relationship, you're freeing yourself from toxic or negative cycles within that relationship that 55 maybe that's what those changes are coming this week are changes good changes courageous changes in your relationship that's for my couples for my singles this is just you taking back control of your life taking back any power exes took away from you taking back any power friends or family members took away from you to really bring it all back to center bring it back home and really know that you are in control of your life. You're no, you don't even have to wait for some ship to come rescue you, so to speak. Whatever this means for you personally, you are taking back control, taking back your power of your own life. It's really beautiful. All right, you guys, so that's all I see for your week ahead, but you will have to let me know below what you thought and if it resonated. I know these readings this week went really deep compared to what we normally have, um, but sometimes that's needed. I think sometimes it's needed to know um, something on a more spiritual or internal level because it really helps us in the external world or the action-oriented parts of our lives. So you will have to let me know below what you thought. And as always, you guys, thanks again so, so much for all your likes, comments, shares, subscribes, and all the things. And I really, truly do hope to see you back at the Den Creative. All right, bye.